I mean, they, the they, hot dog for the homeless yeah, guy. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, I, you know. What happened? Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm the people's champ as well too. I love people. I love I, I love being among people, man. That's just one thing about me. I think that's a great asset that I asset that I have for as people. You know, people fall in love with me because of my personality first, and then boxing and everything else follows behind me. But dude was you can you can tell in his eyes that he he, he needed a, a lift, a little help. Sometimes in life we need help. Sometimes, man, and um, sometimes we. You know, we can beg so much and people won't help and won't listen to our cries as we cry. But, you know, I really saw it in that, 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 that guy's face that he, he needed some help. And uh, I'm blessed, man. My life is blessed. My he walked over to the hot dog cart and he said, let me get a hot dog. Well, no, he asked me. He asked me, Champ, would you buy me something? To, would you buy me a hot dog? He was, and you know, the thing about it, he was brief about what he wanted. You know, it's, it's just like when we're talking to God, we got to be, we got to be direct of what we want. Because if we don't be direct, he's going to give us what we want. He's just saying, Lord, I want a job. But then God gave you a job. It ain't the right job that you wanted, but he gave you a job. So he was direct with what he wanted. He said he wanted a hot dog. So I said, hey, I pulled out some money. I gave him money where he can buy more than just one hot dog. He can buy a hot dog, chips, drink, um, and he can probably buy somebody else a hot dog. He had a, if he had a lady with him, hey, let's go to the hot dog stand or something like that. Hey, that was something to feed somebody, you know, and I believe in that. I also believe in if you're blessed, you will be blessed, man. And uh, I was, uh, you know, I, without hesitation, I pulled out my wallet and I, I helped him out, man. Deontay, are you prepared to be the next star that Box is going to need once Pacquiao and Mayweather retire? I'm definitely prepared for it. No pressure behind it. I always said, even before I was a champion, I said I, I was, uh, I'm the, the perfect man for the job. And um, now that I'm in office, you know, every day I wake up, every time I come around people, it, for the most, let me know that I am the man for the job, man. I got the charisma, I have the excitement. I'm a silly champion, man. You don't see that too many. I, I ain't got time to be sitting up here acting all tough and, and talking about hitting somebody. You know what I mean? That ain't not my, that's not my personality, man. I'm all about love, peace, and harmony, man. I'm all about, you know, giving the people what they want, you know, having a positive energy and, and just being excited overall. And, and that's me, and I think that's a key factor to, to being a heavyweight champion. Not only just a beast in the ring, because I know how to turn to be the beast in the, in, in the ring. I'm the Bronze Bomber, but outside, I'm just Deontay Wilder, man. You know, I know how to turn it on and off, and I'm naturally silly. This is me all day, just because of these camera. That, that don't mean nothing to me. I'm naturally silly, and I just get, just, I, I, you know, people just fall in love with it, you know? It's just, when people know when you're real and when you're not real, man. And uh, it's no pressure. I, I feel like I'm gonna be the biggest star uh, boxer that ever had, you know? Can we get a Bob Squad? Bob Squad! <laughs> you see how everybody got quiet, didn't you? Why are 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 you?